right, guys? So we're going to build up the drop a little bit more in or the hook and drop, actually, because I do want to do a drop after the hook with just instrumental. So what we're going to do here, uh, we are going to just layer in some more sounds, make it a little bit more interesting tonally to the ear. So I'm going to use Dune. I was surfing through some presets, tweaking some presets in Dune 2, and I came across this pad that I made more like a lead. I want to try recording this in over the hook section. <laughs> so I'm just going. That's going to pair nicely with the synth. All right, so let's record that in real quick. All right, so that will work for me. Let me quantize that and get rid of the mic that I just <laughs> recorded into. So let's quantize this. Open up the MIDI editor. Let's get off of this 96th note grid division that we messed around with in the last video and quantize. And... That looks right, I think. Let me check. Okay. All right, that's an octave higher than I want it to be. Logic does that to me every once in a while. I wonder if it happens to you guys. All right, so I just get a little bit of melody in there. Let's just listen to that with just the serum sound and that so we can hear a little bit clear. All right, so I think that'll be cool. I might duplicate that. Uh, we'll see, let me name this Dune. I like to know what synths I'm using so I know if I'm getting a good diverse tone, so we'll call this Dune too. All right, there that is. So. We have, I don't know how much more I want to do to the actual hook part. <laughs> but I do like that. All right, I want to go back. If you guys remember, this was the sound that we used in the the actual demo. I want to see how that feels here in the hook section, actually. I want to see how that synth kind of plays with this section of the song. Okay, I don't want that inversion. Let's take this one. So it doesn't really fit there, which is fine. Just trying things. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember to keep it simple, stupid, this whole time. I'm not trying to make anything muddy. Let's see if this will work in the breakdown, though. Oh, no. All right, that might work in the breakdown. Uh, let me see here. Let's take this one. We'll do, I think that's the one I want. Let's go into Massive. We're going to turn down the cutoff a little bit. All right, let's try this in the breakdown. It might make, it might make the transition into the hook a little bit cleaner. That might actually turn out to be really cool with the vocals. Let me highlight that and quantize. Let's listen.
All right, so what I'm gonna do real quick, this is, I wouldn't consider this mixing because I'm kind of performing still. I'm gonna set my, uh, my mode, my automation mode to touch. And now when I open up my EQ, instead of having to go through this really long ass annoying list, because we're I, I don't use, you Ableton users, you don't know how good you have it. <laughs> Same with FL Studio where you can just touch a parameter and it opens up an automation lane. I'd have to go through channel EQ and go through all this with a synth like Massive, for instance, like all the stuff you have to go through, it's ridiculous. So I like using these types of things in touch mode because then I can perform it. So watch, it'll actually write in the automation as I play it with it. So let's start this loop a little bit before it so I have time. All right, so see how it wrote in the automation for me. I then can take this back to read and it will stay and transfer to read. So let's listen to that. All right, guys, so I have found a couple other presets. I didn't want to show you that, just preset surfing and tweaking sounds and making arpeggiated patterns here in Dune. But what I have here is a sound that I liked. It was one of the factory uh, arp, arp patches that I then just changed the, the sequence of the arp so it wasn't actually playing anything. But what we have here is this sound. Right, it's a nice kind of like an acidy type sound. And there are a lot of future bass tracks will have arps in them, and I wanted to get that in there. So we're gonna arpeggiate the seventh chord. And we're gonna have this come in on the second half. So right now, uh, I've extended past the hook section where Luna is singing. We're gonna have a drop section. All right, so I just quantize it as well. So if I solo this, this is what we have. Okay, and it has the space there. And I'm gonna copy and paste that out uh, for the whole duration of the drop. All right, now that's gonna be a really cool thing actually just to make it sound a little bit bigger. And in this drop section earlier, later in the or earlier in the tutorial course, remember we added these new hi hats. So let's actually turn these up a little bit. So then coming out of the hook. It sounds a little bit bigger, a little, little more, bit more energy to the track. Now I have one other thing that I was messing around with when I was making that ARP, is this ARP had a tune to it. It was like a whole uh, sequence, and I made it just this little, it's kind of like an old school blip. And what we're gonna do here, it's rather loud, we're gonna have this be the new filler in the spot in between the chords. I thought it'd be cooler to do that as opposed to having the the sexy sound that Luna made, the uh, type thing. So let's uh, go do that right now, let's record that. All right, and that's more of a trap thing for sure. So that's kind of, like I said, I've mentioned this a bunch throughout the tutorial course, trap and, uh, and future bass are heavily related they're, they're definitely cousins at least. So let's quantize that real quick. And then we're gonna make this a little bit louder. Let's listen to a drop. All right, let's turn that pitch down because that's too high. That'd be an octave.
All right, there you guys go. That is what we're gonna do to fill in that space in the drop. So let's actually, I'm gonna break now and I'm gonna pull up some sounds and we're gonna get a actual lead in here and see if we can't make this actually feel like a proper drop. All right guys, so what we have here is, uh, we're looking at Nexus and I like using Nexus when I'm writing melodies. So I, uh, cause it just has good presets. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll try to make it more interesting later in the production process, but I wanna get a melody down for this drop. So we are going to do that right now. And the drop section comes in right after the hook. I'm just dinking around with some melodies. I know that I want to be, um, I don't know if I like that feel. I want to stand more on its own. So I might start with this uh, D and C. Alright, so I think I have an idea, kind of like that upwards motion of... Right, let's try that, let's try recording this real quick. Alright, and then I just went down to the octave there at the end. So let's quantize this. See how it sounds. Take the transpose down. I, I, I like that one. I think that will work quite nicely with it. Alright, so that'll work now. I'll fill it in with uh, different instruments as we go. I'll do that off camera because it's literally just finding presets and sculpting the sound. But the, I guess the, the way that the melody was written is just to kind of have this, uh, give it this bounce. Kind of, I kind of want it to be a little bit uplifting, but not super happy. And then I have that space open where this little glitch occurs. And then to kind of mold it all together, we start on this B, A, we hit D, and we go up to that G5. It ends on the G4. Kind of ties it all together. All right, guys, so there it is. We have now built a drop in the next video. We're going to be looking at finishing up the arrangement, and we're going to be moving into the mixing sections of the tutorial course. I'll see you guys there. If you like this course, why not head over to sonicacademy.com where we have hundreds of complete track builds in every genre imaginable, including all the project files and samples. You'll also find tutorials on plugins and synths, mixing and mastering, over 250 tech tips, artist interviews, along with our award-winning plugins, samples and preset packs.